Instead of using insertion stickers, Arnis is another way to do insertions for fewest moves that has its own advantages. So if I have a three corner skeleton, I can do the scramble, then the skeleton, and I will end up here and I can put on insertion stickers to help me see what commutator to insert. Then I'd go through my skeleton one move at a time, and for example, right now I'm right after this F here, and it will just look like this. A scrambled cube, but with my insertion stickers telling me which pieces I need to switch. This is totally fine when you have a 3 cycle, because 3 cycles are recognized by which stickers go where. But with Arnis, you can see the 3 cycle with the rest of the cube still being solved. So how Arnis works is we have the scramble and skeleton as one long sequence and I'm looking at a specific spot. So I will start by doing everything after the spot I want to look at. Then I go back to the beginning of the sequence, which is the scramble, and go all the way up until that point that I marked. Okay, so I've finally reached that point. I have three corners unsolved here, and as you can see, it is the same configuration as the one marked here. So without insertion stickers, this is useful, but if I wanna go further in the solution, I'll have to solve this and redo the whole thing again. And to check an entire skeleton would take longer than with insertion stickers. The best use is for when something you cannot see with stickers, but you can see when the cube is mostly solved. And that's usually one look last layer cases, such as ZBLL. Here I have a three corner and three edge skeleton. One, two, three for corners and five, six, seven for edges. Normally what we do in this case is insert a corner commutator and an edge commutator or some other edge algorithm and do two insertions to solve this. But here's something interesting that shows up in the skeleton. So at this point in the skeleton I have all of the pieces on one side and especially what I notice is that the edges are all oriented and I know they're oriented because they're either all on top or they're all on the side and that means that this is actually a ZBLL case but I can't tell which one it is. I may know a ZBLL that can swap three corners and three edges but I don't know what my ZBLLs do I need to actually see the case. So here I've done Arnis to get the exact same cycle as what we have there, and now I can actually recognize the ZBLL. Now this is no standard OLL, and not everyone knows the ZBLL, but it's a very easy one to recognize and is very similar to the standard OLL algorithm. So then I would just insert this algorithm here, and then add that to my skeleton to make the solution. So here again we have three corners and we have three edges. And what would be really nice is if I could solve these three edges in only four moves. So I know that inserting a sledgehammer would actually move around three edges and also move around four corners, but I don't really have it memorized where all these actually go. So first of all, this is a three edge four corner case, but I'm not trying to actually solve my whole cube with this insertion. Instead, I'm just trying to cycle around three edges and four corners do change, but if I get the three of the corners that I have somewhere in here, it might create a different three corner case, so that could be worth checking. Or if my sledgehammer cancels a lot of moves and gives me four corners or a good five corners, then that can be better than a three edge three corner insertion. So I noticed that at some point in the skeleton, I actually do get a sledgehammer like case. And I see the edges here, but I don't know what exactly sledgehammer does. It's hard to remember. And plus, since this is symmetrical, I can do sledgehammer from three different angles. So what easier way to test it than with Arnis? So using Arnis to get to the same point, I can see exactly what case I have. And I can very quickly check if sledgehammer actually does what I want it to do. So first try, that doesn't do it. Turn the cube, second try, that doesn't do it. Turn the cube, third try. Okay, that didn't do it either. Let's try mirrored sledgehammers. So here, first try. Oh, there we go, we solved all of the edges. So I could insert this sledgehammer here, but unfortunately it turned my three corner case into a four corner case. So that may not be the best thing to do, but at least I could really quickly check if the edges did get solved or not and what exact corner case I'm going to get. And I think that's faster done with Arnis than with insertion stickers. Because with these stickers, it's really hard to tell when the pieces have gone into the right place and where exactly the corners have changed to. But if you're just starting with fewest moves and insertions, the only time you should use this is for some reason you're too lazy to get insertion stickers. Even just getting a piece of paper and taping it to the piece is fine.